Good day. Today I'll be making a pitch for a brand new app, Masai Ways. About two years ago, I visited the beautiful country of Kenya. I was enchanted by it, the culture, the people. Just before I left, one of my Kenyan colleagues asked me to visit uh, Masai Markets because he said that they sell the most beautiful products in the world and it would be imperative for me to visit it. When I went to the market, I instantly fell in love with the products, particularly the Masai sandals. The Masai sandals are these beautiful, intricate, high quality made sandals made by the Masai people of Kenya. They were so beautiful that I actually bought 10 pairs for myself and for my friends. And the seller of the sandals, she was very happy with the supply that I bought, but she also lamented at the fact that she doesn't have access to our Australian market. Her business is dependent on the flow of tourists, and obviously that rises and wanes with the seasons. As a result, the idea of Masai Wares was born on that day. Masai Wares is an app that's going to connect Australian customers to the Masai market in Nairobi. It will enable them to purchase the Masai sandals straight from the app, and um, delivery will be handled by us. The app is a one-touch, one-click app. Customers will be able to browse the different styles and designs available on the app, click, pay using their bank details, and uh, expect delivery within a few days. Typically, when customers want to buy Maasai sandals, they have to either physically go to Nairobi, Kenya, and go to the markets, or wait for a well-wisher to bring sandals. So with our app, we're going to solve this gap in the market connecting the customers to the market and by bringing the market onto the internet because there is no internet presence when it comes to the Maasai market. Um, about our product, the app will be connected to a live database of Maasai sandals in the Maasai market that will be updated with each sale. We will target women in the 18 to 40 age group because this is the age group that is known to value unique fashionable and high quality products and we will tend to spend a higher proportion of their income on these products. The app will be launched in Australia initially but our goal is to spread out into other nations like New Zealand, UK, Canada and the US. The app will be available on Play Store and Apple Store and it will be free to install and use. Customers will only have to pay the final price of the Santos. The app will have three unique selling points. One, affordable. As I said, the app is free to install and use, and also the products that we'll be selling are going to be very reasonably priced. The reason for this is we don't want to go beyond our customer's budget line. We know that on average, um, women in Australia make uh, $1,500 per week in Australia. We intend to price the sandals at between $60 to $80 per pair, depending on the complexity of the design. This price will obviously incorporate purchasing costs from the producers, fixed costs for running our business, um, shipping, marketing, and all associated costs. At this price, we also anticipate to make a profit margin of about $20 to $25 per pair of sandals. The second unique selling point is beautiful. The app is well designed, easy to use, beautiful, but more importantly, the products that we sell, the Maasai sandals, are even more beautiful. They're unique, intricate, brightly colored, and very detailed, and they will prove to be very enticing and will appeal to the customer's preferences. The third selling point is timely delivery. We'll be looking at a turnaround time of a maximum of five working days between payment and delivery of the sandals. The pricing strategy we're going to employ for this app is a uniform pricing strategy. We've chosen this strategy because due to the nature of the product that we're selling, it will be very difficult for us to combat these sales. So as a result, we, we anticipate that the uniform pricing strategy will, be, will serve us best. The business will obviously face certain risks, as every business does. Um, the major risks that we anticipate to face are operational risks arising from tech failure and perhaps late deliveries. We're going to combat these risks by A, having a dedicated tech support who will monitor the health of the app on the daily, and two, we are partnering with 
hardsellabc.com. This is um, a company that is based in Nairobi. They're a delivery company. And with them, they'll be sending a vehicle to the Maasai market twice every day to pick up the products that have been ordered and deliveries will be processed by them on the same day. Another major risk that we're going to face is obviously the risk of competition. Because the app is not a brand new concept, in-app shopping has been around for quite a few years. And, uh, major competitors are going to be Amazon, Alibaba, ASOS, Birkenstock. These businesses sell a wide variety of products, not just shoes. So as a result, we think that we'll be able to compete with them because our focus is purely on Maasai sandals. We will become experts at Maasai sandals. We will form partnerships with producers on Maasai sandals. So as a result, we are more flexible and we'll be easily able to tailor our strategies to customer needs and preferences. We also noted that our pricing favors very it it it's favorable compared to our competitors. Our products are cheaper than those at ASOS and Birkenstock and are similar in pricing to those on Amazon. But as I said, because we are more specialized in Maasai sandals, we'll be more flexible at handling our customers' needs. We aim to be selling 1,000 pairs of sandals every month within a year. To achieve this, we're going to employ intense, intense advertising through social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. We are using these platforms because we know that our target market are frequent users of social media. And we're also going to maintain a website for our app. The central theme for these ad campaigns will be unique, stylish, and high quality. By emphasizing the uniqueness and the quality of the sandals, we're going to shift our customers demand curve and make it less elastic. And to further entice our customers, we're going to employ a honeymoon pricing for the first six months. So the idea is that with each subsequent purchase of sandals that a customer made, a bigger discount will be applied. This honeymoon pricing period, we will we'll start to phase it out after about six months. And maybe by the end of the year, we'll have phased it out. But of course, we still anticipate that we'll be having regular sales and promotions at the end of the month just to keep customers satisfied and interested for a longer period of time. Um, at this um, a thousand pairs sold every month, we anticipate that we'll be making revenues of $720,000 and revenue of $240,000. But our goal is to grow our sales by 50% annually through further advertising. So far, we have a demo version of the app, and we run a trial with 40 different women. They give us feedback on constructive criticism on the usability of the app, and also on the quality of the products. Uh, we also gave them 40 pairs of sandals for them to try and to rate. The feedback that we got from both the app and the quality of the sandals was very, very high and very positive. So as a result, this has emboldened us because we know that demand for our product will be high if advertised and marketed properly. Our team is going to compose of me, Pamela. I'm the CEO and Head of Strategy, Marketing and Operations. We have Hubert, who is our Chief of Finance, who will be in charge of all finance-related issues. And we have Jane Doe, our Chief Technology Officer. And she will be responsible for the smooth running of the app. Our final ask is for $150,000. This amount will further improve the reach of the app and smoothen out any technical glitches that the app still has. It will also enable us to expand our network. So far, we have a partnership with one Maasai market, but we aim to have a partnership with all five Maasai markets in Nairobi and Kenya. We will also employ a marketing manager at each of the markets. This marketing manager will coordinate with the producers of the sandals and to ensure safety of the products. And we're also going to hire out a warehouse in Nairobi for storage and further safety of the products. Um, in the first year or two, we anticipate that these establishment costs are going to cause us to make a loss. But by the end of the third year, we anticipate that we'll be making a profit. And as time goes, a 
comfortability and our reach for growth. Thank you.